Hi, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a ventilator out of some common things you can buy off Amazon or hardware stores. Uh, with this pandemic going on, calling all engineers and tinkers to start thinking about um, solutions, cheap solutions to create ventilators as a need across the world is requiring them. So the concept I came up with is using a linear actuator, um, compressing a BVM bag to supply oxygen to the lungs of a patient. Here's a list of my equipment. Um, in total, it was less than $200 to create this setup. You'll first need a BVM bag, which is used for CPR usage. Um, I found mine off of Amazon for less than $30. Um, you'll need a linear actuator um, that travels um, from 6 to 12 inches, depending on how you want to set up your fixturing. Um, that cost me $50. I also recommend getting one that moves faster than 30 millimeters per second, which is a little over an inch a second. Um, this ensures that you're going to get, get the right frequency to compress the BVM bag. Another thing that you'll need is an Arduino kit, which cost me $50 off of Amazon. Um, this provides you with the board and electrical connectors and sensors for everything that you would need. Um, you also need a two-channel relay. Also got off of Amazon for $7. Um, this allows you to control the linear actuator, reversing the polarity, um, allowing to retract and extend um, during use to compress the BVM bag. And to power the linear actuator, you'll need a 12 volt power supply. Um, you may have these lying around in your house, but if not, you can find one off of Amazon. Um, I found one for $10 and that's used to power the linear actuator. So in this section, I am mounting the linear actuator into a housing. Um, you guys can use wood or, or something to clamp down on the linear actuator so that it allows it to retract and um, extend on the BVM bag. You'll need something to secure the BVM bag against a wall as well. So here I'm putting it up against a cavity in this um, box that I have. And then I'm placing the logic board, the Arduino board um, near the linear actuator and I'll be connecting the electrical connectors um, into the ch two channel relay to power the linear actuator. So here is the wiring setup for the Arduino and the two channel relay. On the left, you see there's a two channel relay that's connected to the Arduino board. Um, so there's four lines. One line is going to a five volt line to power the, the two channel relay. One line is to ground and two, the red and the orange is connected to the digital um, pulse width modulator. On the Arduino uh, channel six and seven. This is where I would send commands to the relay to reverse the polarity of the 12 volt signal to extend and retract the linear actuator. At the bottom there I have a digital, uh, sorry, a potentiometer to um, in my logic to be, uh, provide the adjustment for frequency to compress the um, BVM bag. So here's a shot of how I connected the linear actuator to the two channel relay to control that logic. So once everything's connected, I'm now going to walk you guys through the Arduino code. Um, so here's a setup where I have it connected to my PC to upload the script into the Arduino board. Um, on the right is the code that I have. Uh, right now, it, how it's running is that it is um, applying a three, um, allowing the linear actuator to move for three seconds and reverse in three seconds and then wait a period of time. And for that logic for a period of time, I'm using a digital potentiometer to provide that um, frequency rate that you're seeing on the left on the screen here. So right now it's around 3.3 seconds um, of frequency of how much the linear actuator is actuating the um, BVM bag. Um, so you can have that a fine adjustment depending on um, your situation where you need to pr be providing quite a bit of air frequently or slowing it down so that it does not damage um, patient's lungs. 
So once you've uploaded your code to the Arduino board, um, you no longer need your PC. So you can, all you need to do is connect a 12 volt power supply and the system will operate uh, within its own system. So once you have your BVM bag secured to the fixture, you'll need a tubing line that can um, extend the face mask. Um, I hope this video was educational to my fellow engineers and tinkers. I hope this inspires you to um, contribute to this cause and to find better and efficient ways of developing ventilators for your community. While we may not have individually have the resources to develop the hundreds and thousands of ventilators, at an individual level, we can help out our communities and um, find a better solution to solve this and get us over this um, trying time in our, in our history. Millions of Americans currently out of a job and struggling to provide food for their families. A great organization that I'm currently donating to is called Feeding America. With your contributions, you are providing families um, with food and water to get them through these trying times. So I would encourage you guys as well to donate to this organization as they're doing very great work providing food and water to those in need um, during this difficult time in our, in our history. If you guys like this video, make sure to like and subscribe and I'll continue to make videos about optimizing the ventilator design and also um, would encourage um, some feedback on how we can bring our collective minds together to make a better solution to solve this worldwide issue. Thanks.